So writing out a long division problem can be very annoying because you have to write down a bunch of stuff and it's easy to mess up signs and so on and so forth. So there are patterns, of course, that arise when division. So what happens is uh, there's something called synthetic division that arises from those patterns. And it's a shortcut uh, for division when you are dividing by a first degree polynomial, i.e. some polynomial divided by x minus c. Um, and synthetic division is super limited. The kind of division I'm going to show you only works when it's div divisible by x minus c. And there are ways to make it work for like ax minus c, uh, but I'm not going to do that. In the beginning, I'm going to show you how synthetic division works first. Um, and you can actually generalize it for a higher order polynomial, but it's a lot messier. Um, so I'm not going to show you that at all. I'm just going to show you traditional synthetic division, which is dividing by x minus c. And it's super, super useful with the polynomial theorems we're working our way towards. So I'm going to show you the setup for polynomial uh, synthetic division. When I'm dividing by x minus c, uh, there's a little way to write it. First thing is you put that root or the c in a little square in the corner. And then you write out the coefficients of the dividend. Okay, and then you put a bar. Now I'll do an example with numbers in a second. I just want to show you the algorithm. So the first thing you do is you take the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient goes straight down. You don't do anything to it. You just take it down, All right? And then you take this leading coefficient and you multiply it by C and you put it right there underneath the next coefficient. And then you add going down. And then you get your next coefficient. And then you repeat. Multiply by C, add going down, and you get the next term. Now the very last thing you get is going to be the remainder. And then these numbers here are going to be the coefficients of your quotient. Okay, so this is what synthetic division is going to look like, but when you actually do synthetic division, you don't write the boxes and the arrows, you just write the numbers, all right? So let me show you an example in real time. So let's say I have 2x cubed minus 10x squared plus 9x plus 15 is going to be divided by x minus 3. All right, so what I do is I take the three and I shove it in a little box in the corner and I write down all of my coefficients. Now, if I happen to be missing a term, like let's say that linear term wasn't there, I have to do the exact same thing I would do for the long division algorithm and that's put a zero as a placeholder. But I have all of my terms, so I have a two, a negative 10, a nine, and a 15. And I put a bar beneath it and then I bring down that leading coefficient. So the 2 just goes down. And then I multiply 3 times 2, and I get 6. And I put 6 right there, and then I add those two numbers together. And I get negative 4. And then I multiply 3 times negative 4, and I get a negative 12. And then I add those two numbers together, and I get a negative 3. And so then 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. 15 plus negative 9 is 6. So what these numbers down here give me uh, are, are the things I need. So what this tells me is that I get 2. Now, since I divided out by x minus 3, the x value in this quotient is 1 degree lower. So it's not an x cubed anymore because I divided it by an x. It's an x squared. And then I get a minus 4x, a minus 3, and a remainder of 6. So that's what synthetic division gives me. It gives me all of these numbers. So now let's try an example with complex coefficients, meaning I'm going to throw in an imaginary number, which you can totally do uh, with synthetic division or long division for that matter. Um, so if I have x, uh, 2x cubed minus x squared plus 8x minus 4, and I want to divide it by x plus 2i, um, I remember that the algorithm says I'm dividing by x minus c, and then the c goes in the little box. 
So it's the opposite sign here, so it's going to be a negative 2i that goes in the little box. So make sure you get that sign right, because if you mess that up, you mess everything up. Um, and so then I put my coefficients 2, negative 1, 8, and negative 4. And remember, if one of the terms is missing, you need to put that zero placeholder in there for this uh, algorithm to work. And so same deal. Um, the 2 gets carried down directly. And then I multiply 2 times negative 2i, which gives me negative 4i. And then negative 1 plus negative 4i is negative 1 minus 4i, right? And then I multiply negative 2i times uh, negative 1 times my, uh, 1 minus 4i. And then I get negative 8 plus 2i. And then I add the 8 plus the negative 8 plus 2i. And I get a plain old 2i. And then I multiply negative 2i times 2i. And I get a 4, which means I get a 0. Now this 0 is very significant. It means I have no remainder, which meant that x plus 2i is a factor of that numerator or that uh, dividend. And so my answer for the division or is or what this uh, rational expression is equal to, it's equal to 2x, and remember you have to decrease the degree, squared, plus, and then negative 1 minus 4ix plus 2i. And so that's what this division is equal to. Now I'm going to have you try one on your own, all right? Um, I want you to try this one. So let's say we have x cubed minus 10x squared minus 2x plus 4. And I want you to divide it by x plus 3. So for that last problem, when you did the synthetic division, your work should look just like this. And that means your answer is going to be x squared minus 13x plus 37 minus 107 over x plus 3. So that's what you should have gotten for the last example. Now, in the very beginning of the lesson, I said that you can make this work for polynomials that aren't x minus c, but like ax minus c. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, now, it has to be linear. I'm not going to show you anything synthetically for uh, higher than linear, because really, it's it's not it's no easier it's it's actually it's easier just to do long division if it's not a if you're dividing by something that's not linear um, so let's look at the example six x cubed plus seven x squared plus x plus one and I want to divide that by now two x plus three okay so my algorithm doesn't account for the linear term having a coefficient that's not one so what do I what what I have to do is I have to make it have a coefficient of 1. So I can look at it in, in this context. So I have 6x cubed plus 7x squared plus x plus 1 divided by uh, 2x plus 3. And so I need to think of this a little bit differently. I need to think of it as there's something x there. So I still have the same uh, dividend. And I need to think, well, what can I factor out to make that 2x just an x? Well, I factor out a half. And so then if I have this polynomial now in the denominator, uh, x plus 3 halves, and I multiply it by 2, I get 2x plus 3. So what I do is I factor out that coefficient as a little fraction here. So if it's 2, I take out a half. If it's 3, I take out a third. If it's 7, I take out a seventh. Make sure I adjust that, that term there. Now, if I do synthetic division on this thing right there, and I get its answer, if I multiply it by a half, then I'll get the answer to the original problem. And so why don't you try that? Do synthetic division on this, and then multiply your answer by a half, and check and see if it works. All right, so performing the synthetic division on 6x cubed, blah, 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 divided by x plus 3 halves. I put the negative 3 halves there, the 6, the 7, the 1, and the 1. I use the algorithm, and I get the answer 6x squared minus 2x plus 4 minus 5 over x plus 3 over 2. But that's not my answer. That's the answer to the thing inside the parentheses. 
what I have to do now is multiply it by a half, and when I do that, I get 3x squared minus x plus 2 minus 5 over 2x plus 3. And so that's how you want to uh, alter the synthetic division algorithm to deal with a denominator that doesn't have a leading coefficient of 1.